Welcome to this comprehensive video on the Silicon Controlled Rectifier, or SCR. Today, we'll delve into the inner workings of an SCR and explore its practical applications. A Silicon Controlled Rectifier, SCR, is a type of semiconductor device that falls under the category of thyristors. Thyristors are electronic components used for controlling and switching power in various applications. SCRs are widely utilized for their ability to handle high current and voltage levels, making them suitable for power control and conversion purposes. The structure of an SCR consists of four alternating layers of P-type and N-type semiconductor materials, forming three junctions. These layers are typically made of silicon, which is why the device is called a silicon-controlled rectifier. The three terminals of an SCR are the anode, cathode, and gate. The basic operation of an SCR is similar to that of a diode, allowing current to flow in only one direction. However, unlike a diode, an SCR can be triggered to conduct in the forward direction by applying a positive voltage pulse to its gate terminal. This trigger voltage, also known as the gate current, causes the SCR to switch into a conducting state, allowing current to flow from the anode to the cathode. Once triggered, the SCR continues to conduct even if the gate voltage is removed. It remains in this conducting state until the forward current drops below a certain threshold called the holding current. At that point, the SCR turns off and goes into a non-conducting state until triggered again. SCRs have several important characteristics that make them valuable in various applications. They can handle high current and voltage levels, making them suitable for controlling large amounts of power. SCRs also have fast switching speeds, allowing them to respond quickly to changes in the triggering signals. Moreover, they exhibit good temperature stability and high reliability, making them suitable for harsh operating environments. SCRs find extensive use in industrial applications such as motor control, heating systems, lighting control, and power regulation. They are also used in consumer electronics, such as dimmer switches for lamps, and in automotive applications, such as electronic ignition systems. In summary, a silicon-controlled rectifier, SCR, is a semiconductor device that serves as a controllable rectifier for power control and switching applications. With its ability to handle high current and voltage levels, along with its reliability and robustness, the SCR is widely used in a range of industries for diverse applications involving power control and conversion. Let's begin by examining the circuit simulation we have set up for demonstration purposes. We have an SCR with three terminals, the gate, the anode, and the cathode. The gate terminal is connected to a switch called SW1, and the anode terminal is linked to a plus 5 volt source through a 100 ohm resistor. Finally, the cathode terminal is connected to the ground via another switch named SW2. Upon powering on the circuit, both SW1 and SW2 are open, meaning that no current flows through the SCR. Consequently, the SCR remains in its off state, effectively blocking the flow of electricity. However, if we close SW2, a direct path is established between the cathode and the ground. As a result, current can now flow from the anode through the SCR and reach the cathode, completing the circuit. It's important to note that at this stage, the SCR does not turn on instantaneously. To trigger the SCR and transition it into a conducting state, we need to apply a positive voltage pulse to the gate terminal using SW1. This voltage pulse acts as a trigger signal for the SCR, allowing it to enter a state of conduction. Once triggered, the SCR remains conducting, even if the gate voltage is removed. You might wonder why the SCR continues to conduct even after the gate voltage is eliminated. This unique behavior is attributed to a phenomenon known as latching. Essentially, once the SCR is triggered, it latches into the conducting state until the current flowing through it drops below a specific threshold called the holding current. In our circuit, the plus 5 volt source provides the necessary gate trigger voltage, while the 100 ohm resistor limits the gate current to a safe and controlled level. This resistor serves as a protective element, preventing excessive current from flowing through the SCR and ensuring stable operation. 
To summarize the operation of the SCR circuit, when we close SW2, allowing current to flow, and simultaneously apply a positive pulse to the gate terminal via SW1, the SCR turns on, enabling current to pass from the anode to the cathode. This inherent characteristic of the SCR makes it an ideal component for controlling high power circuits, as it provides a reliable means of switching current on and off. In practical applications, SCRs find extensive use in various fields. They are commonly employed in power control circuits, motor control systems, lighting dimmers, AC voltage regulators, and many other devices that require efficient current control. That concludes our in-depth exploration of the silicon control rectifier. We hope this comprehensive overview has provided you with valuable insights into the functionality and applications of this remarkable electronic component. Stay tuned for more exciting videos where we explore other electronic components and delve deeper into the world of circuits.